Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at private goods and then we will be finishing off with a summary. Okay, so most goods and services that are in the market are going to be supplied and produced by private sector businesses. And a private sector business is one which is in charge of its own production and is not dictated by the government as to what to produce, so they have free choice about what they would like to make. And these goods and services that are made by private sector businesses are called private goods. Private goods are goods that have rivalry and excludability in their consumption. So let's imagine a person eating a bar of chocolate. Now that bar of chocolate is going to be described as a private good because that person has bought it and therefore owns that chocolate bar. And if he is going to finish the bar of chocolate, then no one else is able to consume it. So there's no more chocolate left for other consumers and therefore if there's nothing left for someone else to consume then there's no possibility that that other person can derive any utility therefore the individual who has bought the chocolate and eaten it has derived all the utility from the other good and the other consumer isn't able to receive anything and this will mean that the consumption of the good is rivalrous and thus consumers will be seen as rivals so in the context of our chocolate bar, once the person has consumed the chocolate, there is no way for anyone else to consume that bar of chocolate. So when goods are rivalrous, our consumers will be seen as rival because they're competing for the utility that is gained from the consumption of the chocolate bar. Well, let's develop a different example. Let's imagine a shop owner. And that shop owner has clothes in a shop and all of those clothes will be described as private goods who are owned by the shop owner. Now, as the shop owner owns the shop, she can prevent other people from entering the shop as she can exercise private property rights. And a property right is what the government has given to people, which allows them to decide what happens with their property and it can't be taken away from them. This means that the good is excludable as the owner can prevent other people from using the good or consuming its benefits. So suppose that we had a shop owner who saw some people coming into the shop. She can turn them away from the shop and not allow them access to the private goods, the clothes, as she is exercising her private property rights. And a third characteristic that we can identify is that private goods are also rejectable. So let's consider a bunch of bananas. If a person does not wish to consume them, then they can be rejected. And what this implies is that people have a choice over whether to consume them or not. So rejectability means that people have a choice over whether they consume a good or not. So for example, let's consider someone eating a piece of cake, then they might end up rejecting the apple as a result, and they can do this as they are private goods and can be rejected by consumers. Hey guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're looking for an amazing A-level economics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make A-level economics a walk in the park.